I'm excited for you. We just spent the last three sections uh, talking about values and types and modules and all this weird abstract stuff, like how do functions work. Uh, now we get to actually have some fun and use Elm what it was intended to do, which is making websites like this one, right? Uh, let's use Elm, let's start writing some HTML and it's gonna look weird, uh, but what's cool is you already know all the building blocks of everything we're about to do. Uh, it's just modules, it's just types, it's just functions. Uh, you can have custom types, we're gonna add events, we're gonna do all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, but this uh, opening um, kind of section is just gonna be about doing HTML in a basic way, and we're gonna get to use something called Elm Reactor. We're gonna move out of the Elm REPL, uh, and we are gonna be able to um, uh, just use Elm uh, in the browser directly. We're gonna write some code and see it. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so I'm gonna stop uh, with all this data structure stuff. Uh, I'm gonna clear this here, and I'm going to do Elm Reactor. So uh, when we installed Elm earlier, uh, we got access to Elm REPL, which let us work in the terminal. Uh, we got access to Elm init, which made us, uh, allowed us to create new projects. Uh, Elm also comes with this reactor command, which allows you to kind of run a little program here uh, and browse your, browse your code and just click on an entry point and run a program. But in order to do that, we're gonna need to tell Elm what HTML we want to render. So we are going to import the HTML module. Um, HTML, uh, in like, uh, the regular, uh, meaning of the word HTML kind of looks like this, right? We have like a div, uh, and then we have like a closing tag and we might have like, uh, I don't know, let's do like a section instead of a div. You might have like a section tag and you might have a H3 that says, hello. And then maybe you got a paragraph uh, that says, this is my uh, message. This is what HTML looks like. Uh, and then this is what it looks like in Elm. So I'm gonna use this little convert HTML to Elm feature that comes with um, the Elm plugin, the Elmland plugin. So this is the before and this is the after. Um, so, uh, how HTML works, let's let's save this, let's go over here and see if it's working okay, is we write Elm functions and Elm values, and Elm is gonna turn that into, how do I tell it that I want to be a developer? Settings, let me in. Uh, uh, advanced, uh, there we go. Features for web developers. So I'm gonna inspect this element. And what we're getting under the hood is HTML. This is HTML, we've got a section tag, we've got an H3. Uh, does it have to do all this crazy highlighting stuff? I don't know, but I guess it does. <laughs> we've got this H3 and we've got this paragraph tag. This is Elm uh, that we just wrote and it's turned into markup. So I'm gonna make myself a little bit smaller um, over here, and I'm gonna move this over here. And I'm gonna move this over here. Let's collapse that box model. Can I make this smaller? Is this gonna just be the worst? All right, let's find out. How do I hide this thing? I should have probably figured that out before I, uh, there we go before I started recording a video, huh? Okay, uh, we're gonna bring back that code and we're gonna take a look at what happened there. So over here, I've got my Elm code. And then over here, I've got what it wrote and then I've got what it rendered as HTML at the bottom. So we've got a lot going on here. So the idea uh, behind the HTML module uh, in Elm is that uh, section H3, P, text, these are all functions. Um, so just like we write functions that turn um, strings, you know, like uh, length strings into ints, uh, where length is, you know, give me a name and then I'm gonna call this on it and I'm gonna, you know, give you back an integer. We can also write functions that uh, go from string to HTML. So an example of this is uh, the text function that comes from this library. So, uh, what the HTML module does is 
it treats HTML like values. And what that allows us to do is that allows us to call HTML tags like functions. So if I am making an H3 tag, let's get rid of the section stuff for now. What I'm doing here, let's make this a header, a header one, and I'm going to refresh this. You'll see this is a little bit bigger. And what we have here is just an H1 that says hello. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. So what I'm doing is I'm calling a function that was exposed from HTML. So HTML is exposing the HTML type that I use in the annotation on line six. It's also exposing the H1 function and this text function. And that's all I really need to make this program work because I'm just using an H1 in text. So how every element works in Elm with HTML is H1 is a function that takes a list of attributes and it takes a list of children. So an attribute might be something like class or ID, exposing class ID. And what I'll be able to do is say, you know, class title. And so here you'll see that I've got class title, I've got uh, hello, and you can have as many, you know, children here as you want. So maybe I have hello, and then I have a span that says, how are you? Um, HTML can have uh, elements, can have multiple children, they can have multiple attributes, and that's all valid. So a text node, uh, this text function takes a Elm string and turns it into an HTML text node, which is something I never really thought about uh, before. But if you see this thing that I select here in the browser, that's like an actual uh, thing in the browser, right? So that is not just a string, that is an actual HTML element that just doesn't have um, like a opening tag or a closing tag. So text is a function that goes from string to HTML element. Uh, span is a function that goes from a list of attributes and a list of children to an HTML element. And when you put all that together, you end up with this tree structure that you see here. So that's HTML at a high level. Um, and uh, we can do all kinds of things uh, with this. So we can um, go back to what we had. We had like section earlier. Uh, and the next video is going to pick up where we left off. And we're going to start to see uh, some of the benefits of writing HTML as values. Um, and I'll uh, see you in that video.